different pack odds for you guys. Um, something I really like to pull. I've never actually pulled one before. Uh, I have a friend who's pulled a couple. Is one of those printing plates. It looks like they're like one in almost 9,000 packs, but that would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, like I said, um, maybe about 15 different buyers or so. A lot of people got multiple teams, so that's always nice. Makes it a little easier on the shipping for me. Um, but we will go ahead and get started. We got uh, three hangers and a couple big old mega boxes. So we'll go ahead and do the hangers first. Uh, then we'll get to the mega boxes. I'm going to start trying to do... Um, Hopefully a baseball break every night, or at least every other night if I can. Uh, just main reason, baseball coming around the corner, so it'd be kind of nice to start seeing some of the players and stuff. All right, we got, oh yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, Ozzy Albies, Matthew Boyd. Xander Bogarts, and you may see what I see, but I'm, pr is that a goal or am I just drinking? Ah, oh, but it is a banger, holy cow. I thought it was gold, but it's upside down, the field was showing. A refractor Boba Shet in the very first pack, sick nasty. No, Kevin, I do not want your Watson, but I will meet you in Vegas, uh, this weekend, and we'll go put our stimmy checks on double zero, let her fly. I think that's the best thing that we could do for our families. That is sick nasty. I thought it was gold because it was upside down. I just saw that, which is silly to just guess at that. But I guess holding the card upside down proves my top loaders work okay. That is sick nasty. It's like uh, I was at Dairy Queen when they hand you the ice cream upside down. Wow, what a first pack. I don't. That's got to be a $100 plus card. I may be mistaken, but that's my guess there. Uh, Jack Flaherty. Jose Abreu. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. And I'm not sure why these prism refractors and refractors are upside down, but there's a little Conforto. He's pretty high on the power rankings list this year. Or at least a couple of the lists I saw. Yeah, I don't know why those things are upside down like that. It's going to be kind of tricky. Kevin, you got, a, you got that silver. I tell you what, I'll trade you straight up. When that one comes back, I don't care what the grade is. I'll trade you straight up for my Drew Lock. We got Robbie Ray. Max Muncy, Whit Merrifield, and a 35th anniversary Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. A little Mike Trout, Austin Meadows for the Rays. Orlando Arcia for the Brewers and a refractor for the Cardinals, uh, rookie Junior Fernandez. We got a couple of refractor rookies. I hope the next box they don't have the refractors upside down. I haven't seen that before. It kind of annoys me a little bit. Rogelio Armenteros, read for the Houston Astros. We got Ronald Guzman, the Rangers, Luis Arez for the Twins, and a freshman flash, Asan Diaz for the Marlins. So that was actually a pretty good hanger with that boba shit and whatnot. Kevin, are you still in here? Did you bolt? Or my comments just go off again? There's Juan Soto. Pete Alonzo, 
A Jordan Alvarez, rookie there. This is the Topps Gallery previews. Cody Bellinger and a Mike Trout. We got the little coupon card there. All right, that first pack was kind of exciting. I don't know if I pulled a Boba Shet refractor yet. I pulled a Boba Shet um, X fractor a while back, but there's another good start. There's a Luis Robert rookie card, Chris Archer, Nick Solak rookie card, and another upside down one here. Cato Marte. For the diamond bags. Cattell Marte. So we got Luis Robert on the board. Brock Burke, rookie for the Rangers. Jonathan Villar. Eric Hosmer. We got a refractor, Eloy Jimenez. Or Prism Refractor, excuse me. Prism Refractor, all-star mm, all rookie cup card there. I always just called those cup cards, but somebody told me they were all-star cards, and then somebody else said that they say, every one of them says something different, or can say something different, but all the ones I've ever seen just say all-star rookie on them. Got another White Sox card here, Zach Collins, rookie. Uh, Logan Allen, rookie for the Indians. Got uh, Alex Rodriguez for the Rangers. Die cut runs created above average. Interesting. People have a lot of mixed feelings about him. And an Eloy Jimenez, 35th anniversary card there. Oh, I see Kevin. What in the world? These die cuts are so tricky because they don't have a flush bottom. There we go. Um, I said we'll, we'll, we'll take our stimmy checks and go to Vegas. And we'll put them both on double zero. I think that's in the best interest of our families. What are the odds on double zero? Like one in 36 or one in 37? Pretty good payout. Patrick Corbin. Anthony K, rookie for the Blue Jays. Jeff McNeil. And a Reese Hoskins refractor. Nice there. No, I haven't been to the casino and I don't know how long, which most people probably haven't here lately, but. Last time I went, I think I took a hundred dollars in there, and I regretted it. <laughs> I just, I did, I was able to sit at the little roulette. Uh, I think it's roulette. That's what it's called. Um, There's a little roulette machine. I forgot to play for a little while, but eventually it catches up to you. But it's just kind of fun to play. Uh, Trey Turner got an AJ Puck rookie for the Athletics. Uh, Zach Gallon, rookie for the Diamondbacks. It looks like we got something shiny back there. Uh, future stars, Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. So not as crazy as that first box, but we did get a, a Lou Bob rookie. Got a nice Eloy Prism Refractor. Got another Gallery Jordan rookie right there. Cody Bellinger, Trout. Ron Acuna and Tatis. These cards aren't really worth anything. Or last I checked, it might be a quarter a piece if you sold them by the masses. But 
It's kind of cool to snag one if you PC the player, the team, or whatever you got going on. Alright, we got another Dodgers rookie here. Edwin Rios. Nomar Mazzara. Tommy Edmond. And a Rafael Devers. 35th anniversary for the Red Sox. I always think this is like a parallel, but it's just a really pink background. Kevin Biggio for the Blue Jays. Russell Iglesias for the Reds. Tim Anderson and Luis Castillo. Refractor for the Reds. And those refractors just look good. Like, I think Topps Chrome will be, like, one of the most iconic. Like, Topps Chrome refractors will be one of the most iconic parallels. I get, like, Prism. Prism's got all these different ones. And you got Snake Skins and Tiger Stripes and all this other stuff. But something about Topps Chrome refractors, man. Just takes you back. Sam Hilliard. Rookie there for the Rockies. Michael Fulmer. Uh, Danny Jansen. Oh, yeah, boy. Got a Mike Trout Prism Refractor. Now, the Prism Refractors, I say it probably every break, but they're actually more rare, supposedly more rare based on the back of the box, uh, than the regular Refractors. They don't really look as clean, but... Um, with the, like the prisms in, in there, but it is a sweet looking card though when it hits the light. We got Charlie Blackman for the Rockies, Jose Altuve, Jorge Soler, and Aristides Aquino. 35th anniversary rookie card. So the hangers have not gotten us any autos or numbered cards yet, but I will say I think we've definitely pulled hanger value so far with that refractor, Boba shit, got a Luisa Robert rookie card, Mike Trout Prism refractor. Oh, we pulled some decent cards so far. Uh, Trevor Story. Ian Desmond, uh, Ramon Lordiano, and a Max Scherzer refractor for the Nationals. Nice. He's getting up there in age, but he's still got some stuff. All right, we got our last little gallery packs here, and then we'll bust out these megas. The Jordan rookie. If we don't get any regular Jordan rookies, we'll have three tops galleries. Bellinger, Trout, Acuna, Tatis. Not really mixing it up on us too much there, are they? All right, now for the live action. those for last all right here we go packs all scrunchied up there hopefully we can find some short prints in here aside from the x for actors uh, Luis Castillo we got a prism refractor of Patrick Corbin for the Nationals these cards are all upside down. Abraham Toro, rookie, and Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. All 
Uh, Nico Horner, rookie for the Cubs. Oh, we got a Babe Ruth die cut for the Yankees. That's a sick looking card. I don't know if I pulled a Babe Ruth yet. I pulled quite a few different die cuts, but that's a nice looking card. Uh, Nicky Lopez and Paul Goldschmidt to round it out. So we got two die cuts this break. It's kind of funny. A Rod is actually going to the Rangers. So we'll get Babe Ruth for the Yankees here. If I can get it sleeved out. There we go. That's cool. I don't know how many is actually in the die cut set there. We pulled quite a few different ones now, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, Christian Yelich for the Brewers. We got Nelson Cruz. Justin Dunn, a rookie for the Mariners. And Carter Kaboom. Another one there for the Nationals. Uh, Anthony Rizzo. DJ LeMayu. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie for the Mariners. And Mitch Hanniger, also for the Mariners. So we got our first Kyle Lewis. Dylan Cease, rookie for the White Sox. Hey, we got a refractor, Yu Chang, for the Indians. Nice rookie card there. Oh, Gavin Lux, rookie right behind it for the Dodgers. And Francisco Lindor for the Indians. Not too bad of a little pack there. Yu Chang was the hardest rookie card to learn. It's sitting right there on its foot. Almost looks like a just an emblem on his shoe. It's like, yeah, Yu Chang's a rookie, right? Definitely is, definitely is. All right, hopefully we have some packs similar to that over and over. Get a refractor rookie and a pretty well-known rookie right behind it. Uh, Kyle Seeger. Got a Mitch Keller. Future Stars for the Pirates. Uh, Albert Ozole, rookie for the Cubs. And a Pete Alonzo cup card for the Mets. Oh, yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, Jose Ramirez. Got yeah, Rafael Devers, 35th anniversary for the White Sox, or Red Sox. That's the second one we pulled there. Lucas Giolito for the White Sox. And Archie Bradley for the D-backs. So no rookie in that one. Getting closer to those X-Fractors. Alex Young, rookie for the D-backs. We got a refractor for the Pirates, Trevor Williams. Looks like George Springer here, for the Astros, and J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. And some of these packs are worse than Chronicles Basketball. Like, every card is turned the opposite direction. I haven't seen that. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of odd that it's happened on two or three of these boxes so far. Maybe that's what happens when you're getting really close to a monster hit. They just, they're so confused when they see it coming down the assembly line that they forget how to put cards in packs. Manny Machado. We got a Bo Bichette freshman flash. Rookie card there. I'm not sure that face he's making on this card. kind of cracks me up a little bit. Uh, every time I see it. We got Austin Nola, rookie. 
Going to the Mariners and Joey Gallo for the Rangers. All right, we got one regular pack left. And then we'll jump into the X-Fractors. There's Lagro Jr., a little cup card there. We got, was this Jameer Candelario? Yeah, for the Tigers, nice refractor. Uh, Bobby Bradley, rookie for the Indians. And Shin Su Chu for the Rangers. Alrighty. For the X Fractors. Always love getting to these because you can, hopefully we can just pull some monsters. I'm kind of surprised we've gone three hangers in a full mega box without a numbered card or an auto. But it has happened before, so. Here we go. Starting off with Pete Alonzo. That's not bad at all. Jake Rogers, rookie for the Tigers. Kyle Seeger, that's a nice one for the Mariners. Uh, San Diaz, rookie for the Marlins. And Harold Ramirez, also for the Marlins. So not bad at all. We got one big name veteran player. We got a Pete Alonzo cup card. You got two rookies. Not big name superstar rookies, but I guess no rookies a superstar. I would say big name superstar potential rookies. Man, I'm proud of the Tigers. Sometimes they have kind of rough breaks. They've gotten a refractor, and now they got an X Fractor rookie. You gotta just, you gotta feel for them a little bit. I've had breaks where the Tigers get, you know, just a couple cards, so. It's good to see it happen that way. Alright, we got our last little X Fractor pack here, and then we'll get to our last Mega Box. It's a Max Muncy for the Dodgers. Ooh. Oof, oof, oof. Trout's just tearing it up. He might be the best veteran play tonight if you picked up the Angels. He may be the only veteran player we've gotten two different parallels of so far. That is just sick nasty. We got an Austin Meadows for the Rays. Jonathan Villar for the Marlins. And a Zach Collins. X-Fractor for the White Sox. Dang. So, a little, little something that always confuses me. It almost looks like they cut the card a little off center. I don't know if the squares are supposed to be perfectly lined up with the edge or if it really doesn't matter, but I just want to note that. It looks a little off there on the edge. I would think that they would try to cut them perfect. Uh, all the squares line up perfectly fitted on the sides, but I don't know if that's how they do them or not. That's awesome. Got a nice trout. I believe it was a prism refractor. And now an X fractor. Surely that's got a little bit of value to it. All right. Moving along to our last box. Get all these packs out here. Really like to see an auto or numbered card out of one of these uh, regular packs here. Elvis Andrus. Wow, the Angels though, just ripping them to shreds. We got an Otani refractor for the Angels. That's nasty. I like the batting Otani. I don't like the pitching picture. Uh, Jordan Yamamoto, rookie there, and Anthony Santander. 
And we haven't got the Angels and I just tearing it up. I think the Angels went for just shy of $20, maybe. So they're doing really well. Granted, I don't know the value of these three cards that I've pulled, but I can't imagine it's... I would imagine a Trout X-Fractor goes for more than 20 bucks, but I could be wrong. Uh, David Peralta. Yeah, Tommy Edmond. Andres Munoz. Rookie card for the Padres. And Juan Soto. Tim Anderson. We got Kevin Biggio. Uh, future stars insert for the Blue Jays. Robel Garcia, rookie, and Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. Now I do go back and sleeve all those inserts, rookie cards, and stuff like that. Um, and I'll also top load some of them as well. I think we might have a hit in here. Uh, Denny Jansen, yeah boy. Ooh, Alex Young, it's a rookie card too for the Diamondbacks. That's nice. Nice green parallel. You got a Bo Bichette rookie too. And Jeff Samarja. So that was a good pack. Nice little Bo Bichette behind that numbered card. I believe the greens are the... Oh, don't catch me lying. I thought 199 but we'll find out here in a second. Oh, they are 99, excuse me. Wow. Awesome. And always wait to put those in a top loader. Make sure I have a clean top loader because they're a little bit thicker than these uh, base chrome cards. So I just like to make sure I don't have a top loader. It's got, like sometimes they get sticky in the middle or have a little residue or something. It doesn't matter as much with the skinny cards, but with those thicker ones. It can rub you the wrong way. Uh, Ramon Laureano. We got a uh, Mike Soroka refractor cup card for the Braves. Not too shabby. Lorenzo Kane for the Brewers and Jameer Candelario for the Tigers. I'm wondering if this year is the year where pitchers get more love. I see so many people on YouTube and Facebook here lately talking about, I'm trying to buy baseball cards. I want to buy baseball cards. They're, they're so cheap. Um, and last time this happened with basketball, everybody bought up all the stars, and the stars' prices got so out of whack. And so people started looking to the next best thing for the sport, and it was – like second year cards, cards with cool players in the background. Um, but another big one was the big men. So like for basketball, everybody wanted the LeBrons, the people who scored 20 and 30 points a game. And then they started shifting to the big men, and the big men started getting some love, and like Tim Duncan and Jokic, and some of those guys were selling for a lot more money. Um, so I'm thinking this year you might see some pitcher cards get some love. For baseball you got Eugenio Suarez a freshman flash Brendan McKay rookie for the Rays Josh Hatter for the Brewers and Max Kepler for the Twins I don't know I just there's so much excitement about baseball this year that I don't remember seeing last year to this magnitude when the season was about to start so it makes me wonder what's going to happen to some of those card prices. It would be good if you've gotten into a lot of baseball breaks fairly cheap or you just accumulate a lot of baseball cards. You might have some, some value to appreciate here in the next couple months. Jacob DeGrom, Sean Murphy, rookie for the Athletics. We've got Cody Bellinger. I thought it was refracting, but it's just a base card there. And Brandon Belt for the Giants. So nothing crazy out of that pack, unfortunately. Uh, 
Uh, Albert Pujols. We got Erces Aquino Prism Refractor for the Reds. That's a nice one. Tony Gonsolin rookie. And one of my favorite photos, uh, Scott Kingery. Looks like he's diving for a bag or something. I see a, a few different names jumping in the video. If you're here for the football break, um, that'll start right around 11.15. So here in about, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 minutes. But I'll cut this video off, and then I'll start a new video, and it'll be titled uh, Football Break or whatever. Tyler Glass now. We got a Walker Bueller refractor for the Dodgers. That's sharp looking. Uh, Mauricio Dubon, rookie for the Giants. And John Means, cup card for the Orioles. The Orioles are a tough team sometimes on these breaks. All right, we've got one more uh, base pack, for lack of a better word, and then we'll do our X Fractors. Jorge Soler, 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 Soler. Uh, Jesus Lazardo, 35th anniversary rookie for the Athletics. Matt Chapman and Joey Votto for the Reds. Athletics usually get a lot of cards. Um, they don't have like a, a monster rookie, but they they got some pretty decent ones just all kind of all around. I think Lazardo was a starter last year. If I remember correctly, maybe you're wrong. All right, here we go. Big money, big money. Nice. Right off the rip. Speak, speak of the dude. Jesus Lazardo, X-Fractor rookie there for the Athletics. D. Gordon for the Mariners. We got a Brendan McKay. Rookie for the Rays. Oh, Clayton Kershaw. That's a nice one. I think his cards are always underpriced. And a Brendan Crawford. X Fractor for the Giants. So that wasn't bad. Got two rookie pitchers. Oh, yeah, sorry if I didn't say uh, athletics. Athletics and Dodgers. Sometimes I'm talking out of one, out of my mouth and thinking something different, so. Yeah, it's Clayton Kershaw is nice, too. I don't know, I just feel like pitcher cards are so underpriced and they they mean so much to a team when I think of pitchers I think of the, the angels like it's amazing that you can have Mike Mike Trout on your team and make the playoffs once out of 10 or 11 years it just it spools down to the other 10 guys around you Ozzy Albies or 8 guys I guess Matthew Boyd you got Ian Desmond for the Rockies. Luis Urias for the Brewers. And a Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. That is nasty. There's been some, some talk going around that I think Trout was number one on most people's power rankings, but the Mookie was sitting right up there behind him. Anyways, we will go ahead and do a quick recap. Like I said, I'll go back and there'll be a lot of other cards that get sleeves and top loaded. I just try to keep it to some of the top cards while we're breaking here so I can have a nice little recap. But uh, Bo Bichette Refractor was out of the first pack. That was a great start. Got a Michael Conforto Prism Refractor. Junior Fernandez Refractor for the Cardinals. Uh, Cattell Marte for the Diamondbacks. A little refractor there. There's old Lou Bob, got a rookie, one rookie card of him. Um, Eloy Jimenez, Prism Refractor. Runs created above average, die cut. Alex Rodriguez for the Rangers there. Uh, Reese Hoskins, Refractor. Luis Castillo, Castillo Refractor for the Reds. Mike Trout, Prism Refractor. Ercez Aquino, 35th anniversary rookie. Max Scherzer, Refractor, Prism Refractor. Patrick Corbin, 
Got a die cut Babe Ruth OPS plus for the Yankees. That's a cool little card there. We'll get through these. Uh, Kyle Lewis rookie. Yu Chang refractor rookie. Uh, Gavin Lux rookie. Trevor Williams refractor. Freshman Flash Bo Bichette rookie. Jameer Candelario refractor. Got an X fractor Pete Alonzo. Jake Rogers. Uh, Kyle Seeger. Hassan Diaz and Zach Collins were the X Factors there. Another one here, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Refractor. Uh, we got a Bobachet rookie, Mike Soroka, Refractor. Freshman Flash, Brendan McKay, Eris is Aquino, Prism Refractor. Walker Bueller, Refractor for the Dodgers. Uh, Jesus Lazardo, 35th anniversary. Uh, Lazardo, X Factor. McKay, X Factor. Clay. Clayton Kershaw and Mookie Betts. That was a nice little Dodgers run there at the end. But anyways, um, not a terrible break. We missed on a few teams, but uh, we also had this little card here out of 99. 23 and 99, nothing to skip out on for the D-backs. Nice one there. But anyways, not too bad. A lot of nice cards. Um, some of the veteran players, I think, had some pretty good breaks. So that was cool, but... Anyways, uh, you guys take it easy. If you need something, just shoot me a message. I'll hop off here, and we'll get ready to start the football break um, right afterwards. So we'll see you later.